Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode from the Amazon Review Series. Uh, product that I had in the past. You guys can see this right here, flashlight. Um, this was one of the biggest flashlights that I had gotten through Amazon, and uh, this is by Vastfire. As you can see, it's pretty decent size. Uh, it uses actually larger batteries than a lot of the other uh, videos that I put out there with those small ones, uh, 26650s. Uh, has multiple, of course, functions like uh, most of the lights that I get do. Uh, it does have a few variations on how the light comes out there, but then it also has the side panel here. And uh, it also even has some charging, so you can actually charge to it and charge from it if you need to. Well, we've got something that uh, correlates directly to this. So uh, let's go ahead and grab this one out. And uh, as you can see, it's just, just a regular package. We'll go ahead and rip into it here and uh, see what's inside. And there we go, that's what we've got. So we basically have the little brother to the large one. So basically, same kind of flashlight, almost the same size around, much shorter obviously, and a smaller head there. Uh, but the idea is that this does basically the same kinds of things, but this is a, a little more pocket friendly, we'll say. Uh, you know, you don't have something that's quite as bulky. It's still pretty decent size around, which actually wouldn't be bad if you had to use it as a force multiplier. Uh, but uh, let's see. First things first, we've got a few little pieces. Uh, battery goes in here. I uh, can, if you want to, you can use AAA batteries, and there would be three of them that you can use. And then, of course, there is the, uh, the charger, and this uses a USB-C whereas the old one actually uses the USB-B micro. Uh, so you do want to kind of take uh, notice of that. But uh, yeah, so we've got a nice large lens there and that's going to be great for uh, doing the focusing and everything. We of course have the lanyard with the little keepers and stuff. Uh, you've got the little slide bolo type thing there. And then you've got the little bead there as well, which is very nice. Now it does unscrew at the back. And as you can see, this is the 26650 battery. Uh, this right here is for an 18650 battery. As you can see, this is, it still looks very much like a double A, but uh, it's almost as fat as a C battery and it's easily as long as, say, a D battery. Uh, the 16650s are just as long, but they're definitely not as big around. As you can see here, uh, even this little plastic tube is a little bit smaller in diameter than this is. But you can throw in a uh, 16650 battery inside here and then throw it in. And uh, obviously it's not going to last as long, but uh, it definitely will still make it work. Uh, just like here, you can put the AAA batteries in there. And again, they will work. They won't last as long as the 16650 or especially the 26650. Screw that in and let's kind of take a look. It should have at least a little bit of a charge. Yep, there we go. So you can see it's got that uh, that square LED uh, light there. And uh, as you can see here, it also shows the LEDs on the side, the blue ones, that says that it does have a full charge. Uh, now, you may wonder, okay, wait a minute, why is it, why is it doing that? And that's only because it's already focused out. We bring it back, we've got a nice, even, wide beam here, does very nice, and then obviously if you need to focus on further away, you can do that by just sliding the end in and out, and it focuses the beam. Uh, you then can hit it again, it puts it on a lower light setting, so if you don't need it quite as bright, that's great. Uh, it will save your battery, of course, make it last a lot longer. And then we also have the flash, which we don't want to leave that up too long. Uh, but then we've got the side panel. To activate the side panel, you actually do two relatively quick taps. So you tap, tap, and you can see the bottom came on, but now the side come on. And this is actually really great. These things are amazing when it comes to uh, having in your car. And if you have a flat or something like that, you can have something very small like this fits in the glove box or whatever console. And uh, bring this out, you just set it up either way, and you've got light to work on so that you can, uh, you know, maybe fix your uh, flat tire, change it out or whatever. It does, of course, also have a 
darker ones. So for example, if you're camping and it's late at night, maybe you got uh, a reading light would probably work pretty well for that. Uh, and then the next one, we've got a red light. Obviously that's more of a, uh, well, one, a little easier on your eyes, but two, it can be used more for, hey, I'm here, just so you don't try and run me over or whatever if you happen to be on the side of the road for that. Or if you want it even a little more noticeable, you hit it one more time and it flashes. And then the last one goes ahead and turns it off. So four functions on the side light. You've got three functions on the front beam there. All very nice. This is in a very nice, uh, sturdy uh, aluminum uh, frame here. You've got, of course, Vast Fires logo right there at the top end. And uh, if you can see here, you've got some interesting uh, kind of grip there. They have uh, just the lines cut through there with a couple of uh, verticals. But then at the grip itself, they have the vertical lines here. And then they have this swirl pattern that goes all the way around. And that is uh, the only place that I've seen that is with the Vast Fire stuff, mostly just with these with these bigger flashlights. They're smaller ones. I don't think really have that too much, but uh, it makes for a fairly comfortable grip. Um, it doesn't feel like it's going to slide out. If it gets wet, you're still going to have um, a pretty decent grip because these aren't real shallow. Like some are very shallow on some of the textures that are on them. This is not, and so you can get a decent grip. It does, of course, also have the same features there. You have the charging one, which is the USB-C going in. And then if you need to charge your phone, for example, you can have the USB-C or the USB-A to USB-C or whatever USB cable that you need. Uh, as long as it has that A connection, that rectangle there, uh, you can plug in. And uh, as long as we put it in the right way. And now I could sit here and charge my USB-C phone. Or like I said, if you have the other cables, you can charge anything else. Anyhow, uh, I think that'll do it for me today, guys. Uh, as you can see, very nice quality light. If you guys want to check it out, go down there in the description below. There will be a link to this on the Amazon website. And of course, while you're down there, don't forget to check out the uh, social media. Got all kinds of links down there. There's also that PayPal link that takes place at Patreon if you want to help out the channel. Definitely appreciate that. I really do. And also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and ring that bell so you know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, guys, my name's Cougar. This is World of Me, another episode of the Amazon Review Series. I'd love to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.